All right, I'm so showing you how to build a social app with Thunkable. And so far, we can do almost everything. The user can post stuff. We can stick images into the cloud and get a URL back and then be able to show, you know, posted images, uh, dynamic images. And right now, just this, the one user has posted all these, but this app actually works for multiple users. Anybody can log in and post stuff and then we'll put their username in there. Okay, the last thing we wanna do is right now, we're, we're the date we add to each post is fixed. And I wanna I want fix that. I wanna actually use the current date. And if you go to this device folder, there's a bunch of blocks that are very, very helpful. And you can just grab like the current hour and we're gonna use this. I'm gonna write a function. Okay, functions are just like give a name to a bunch of blocks. And so I'm gonna call this function um, get date, okay? And so that's the function name. And what I'm going to do is in that thing, we really want to return, you know, a, a, a bunch of text, which together show the entire, the entire date. All right. And so I'm actually going to need a bunch of, with this join block, you're just cobbling together text, but I'm going to need a, a number of these. Let's, let's just start with that. And uh, let's see. So the first thing, if we want to say like 2, 21, 21, something like that, then the first thing is going to be the month, right? So we're going to, we're going to stick in the current month. Okay. Then we're going to leave this, but just put a, we'll just put a dash. Okay. And um, then I'm just going to copy this current month. But the next thing we want is probably the current day of the month. Okay. And then another dash. And um, finally, we'll put the current year. We could subtract 2000 from it. Um, let's see, there's year. Uh, if I really, you know, if I really wanted to get fancy, I'd, I'd say, okay, let's take the current year, which is 2021, and let's subtract 2000, and now just leave the last two digits. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's, that's, we're getting pretty good. Okay. Now, you know, that's probably not only one. I probably also want to know like the, the hour and the minute. All right. So I'm just going to add a few more items here. Um, I think four more might do it. I don't know. Um, okay. There's, there's how many slots I need. And then, so after the year, I'm just going to put some spaces in. And then what I'm going to do is get the current day. Oh, sorry, not the current day, but the current hour. Okay. And then grab some more, I think nine. Um, and then let's put a colon here. And then let me copy the current hour and change it to minute. Okay. So current hour and minute. I think this hour is going to be in military time, but let's just let's just go with this for now. Okay, so all I've done is created a function get date, but you know functions are just like you're creating a new block. And in fact, if you go look in functions now, because I created this, there's now a block called get date. And notice it's got a little dealy bopper coming out, so I can stick that wherever I want to grab the date. Okay, so I'm going to grab that, and of course, I really want to stick it in when I'm creating this new row in my spreadsheet, I want to call this function, do all this stuff and stick it, stick it in there. Okay. So I've got this get date function. I'm using it to actually grab, you know, I, I hope the current date in some decent form. Uh, I'm not sure about that, uh, but we'll check it out. Um, so I'm going to go back. Uh, here's my, my phone is showing my, um, is projecting, my phone is being projected on the screen. So I'm gonna close Thunkable, reopen Thunkable, and I'm just gonna to try to post something now. And I'm just gonna log in, and um, I'm successfully logged in, cool, welcome. Here's all the posts. I'm gonna click plus to add a new thing. And uh, I don't know, I think I got a picture of my mom, so I'll choose image. And uh, that's me and my mom drinking some coffee. So there's the picture and now I'm going to click submit. And what I'm hoping on this thing is it's going to show the right picture. And then of course the date is what I'm really testing. So I'm going to touch submit. 
and um, I think it's going to Cloudinary to upload the picture. Takes a little bit to go grab that picture. Oh yeah, we're not even showing the date yet. Sorry. Okay, so we're close. Um, let me go back to the post screen. And um, you know, on this post screen, we really need to go to the designer because what we've got it set up is just to show a picture, a title, and a subtitle. Okay, and you know, it's real nice because you can just map these guys. Um, you know, it's real easy to say, okay, I want this column on my spreadsheet showing here, this column showing there, and whatnot. Um, you can't combine things though. Um, but anyway, I can kind of look in here and look for a different, uh, a different template. And let's see. So subtitle, subtitle, subtitle. And here's one with some text over here. I'm just going to try that one out. Okay. Um, so in this text, I'm just going to put the, actually, I'm going to put the author there. And then up here, I'm going to put the date. I'm not even sure what this is going to look like, but we'll try it out. Okay. Um, so anyway, I've just set all that up. Let's see. I may have to restart Thunkable, but let's just see if it works. So I'm logging in. It's going to go straight to the post page. And cool. There we go. Okay. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I don't know if this is a beautiful way to show this stuff, but I've got all my posts. It shows the date underneath and then the user way over to the, to the right. Okay. You can, right now I'm using this data list viewer that does the automated mappings. And so it's really easy to use. You can also use a list viewer and, and kind of do it a little more yourself. And then there's also, um, with these with these data list viewers, there's also a way to do custom custom data list viewers. Um, we're not going to get into that in this series, uh, but you do have a pretty quick and easy way to show what you want. And then typically, we, we you know, we're not doing that yet. Is you know you'll make it so when the user clicks one of these items, it shows a page with a bunch of information. You know, so you may you might not even show the date or the user on all these. Um, or, you know, if, if there's additional information, obviously you can't show it all, but you'll show that on the, the page that opens when they, when you, when you click on an item.